So it's shoulder day, delt day, whatever you want to call it. I call it delt because it's a little bit shorter than saying shoulder. It's a two syllable, two syllable word versus a one syllable word, delt. Delt day, the less, the better. I have a non-stim, that Evogen, EVP, 3D is what the non-stim is called. Had caffeine this morning already, had a monster when I woke up. So, gonna, gonna have to go with the non-stim today so I don't have too much caffeine. I have a pre-workout snack, some of these again. So I'll have those and it'll be Delta. I don't really overhead press, so maybe some light overhead press since it's only a delt day i don't know i haven't decided yet there's really no point since it's something i wouldn't do normally because i don't want that extra stress on my delt when i'm that front delt when i'm benching because there is a lot of front delt whether you feel it or not and you should be closer to not feeling it than feeling it when you bench and you don't want to injure yourself so that's why i don't overhead press certain front raises i'm okay with doing every once in a while because I can feel, you know, my side delt, rear delt, like cable straight bar front raises are great, a great example. When you do them correctly and you have a really slow controlled negative, you really feel a lot of rear delt engagement. So we, we may do one of those. Of course, your, you know, the basic exercises for rear delts, ones everybody knows is face pull. Uh, you can do single arm or both arms at the same time. Reverse cable fly of some sort. If you go to an actual gym, you know, you can do them on the pec deck or functional trainer or whatever you got. Dumbbells, you can bend over and do them with dumbbells or you can do them chest supported on a bench at an incline. So that's pretty much it for your delts. They move the shoulder, they move the arm, you know, in that type of direction back. And then of course you want to hit the side delts, your lateral raises. Uh, depending on how you do it, uh, like an upright row variation can put a lot of emphasis on the side delts as well. Um, that and pretty much just different side raises you can do them with like an easy bar, you can do them holding a straight bar, you can do them with dumbbells, you can do, uh, what else is there, cable. You can kind of hit different angles where you start in front of your body, start right at your side, kind of bring it back to your glute. There's different ways of doing it. You can do cables behind the back, in front of the back, or in front of your body, behind, between the legs. You can do all kinds of these different angles and things. Uh, there's also machines if you go to the gym there's that machine where you're going like that I used to do that machine I don't feel it that much I never got the best mind muscle connection on that machine for some reason so I, I even when I had like that machine available and same thing with the pec deck even when I had the pec deck available I still preferred like cable dumbbell type of exercises for for my delts what else is there for delts that's pretty much it for delts. Well, I will say this, when you're contracting your side delt, doing a side raise, what you don't want to think about, like raising the weight away from you or up or anything like that, what helped me, cause like I've never had good delts, they're probably still not that good, but they've gotten better in the last like year or so. So I think that like your, your side delt attaches here and it attaches right here. It's this really small muscle. So you don't need a ton of weight and to contract it, you don't want to think about raising, like I said, not raising or not like putting your arm away from you. What you think, want to think about is from right here to right here, you want to shorten that. You're just trying to shorten that space and that'll help you, just that thought helped me really contract and isolate my side delts when I was doing side lateral raises and other side delt targeted exercises. And you can kind of think about, you know, the same thing with like your rear delt. You're not trying to like pull, well you are kind of trying to pull apart, but you're not just like moving your hands apart from each other or moving them back. You're trying to shorten, like just the same thing. Your rear delt is here to here. You're trying to shorten from your tricep to your trap. You're trying to shorten that space. So that's a really good uh, thing to have on your mind that you should try if you struggle with the mind muscle connection. If you're not getting a delt pump on, delt, on your delt day, shoulder day, 
if you don't have the pump, then you don't have the mind muscle connection and you're not properly squeezing it and isolating it. So the Dell pump was something that I never really got for the longest time, but we always get the Dell pump now. The, that's enough being said, I think, for Dell. So I'm gonna go finish off my little pre-workout snack and pre-workout and that'll be Dell day. Decided to start with face pulls. Gotta hit those uh, rear delts at the beginning of the workout when they're strong, so that way they can get bigger. You know, whatever you hit at the beginning is probably gonna get the best workout. Did just three sets of that. Three sets was plenty. Now I'm probably gonna do three sets of uh, cable straight bar front raises. This is kind of a full delt uh, exercise in my opinion. I feel a lot of rear delt on the way down. Palms are facing down, so I feel a lot of side delt as well. So I think these are full delt. Do three sets of these next. Next I'm gonna do a superset. It's gonna be single arm cable side lateral raises. Superseted with a, what do you call this? It's gonna be like a, basically like a rear delt row. You'll, you'll see, but it's a good superset. Hits the side delt, rear delt. And it's convenient superset too because they're both on the cables and you don't even have to adjust the cables. That made me feel like I got a crazy pump going. Great superset. Love those. Don't do them that often, but love those for sure. Now I'm gonna do some cable upright rows. Gonna try and put, you know, most of the emphasis on the uh, rear and side delts, not on the traps. Next I'm gonna do what I call cable wives. These are great for that, uh, it's kinda like a rotator cuff with some rear delt. Very great for the shoulders. <sighs> 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 
two more exercises. They're gonna look very similar. Uh, I'm gonna do three sets of, what do you call these? Modified. Modified side raises, which is kind of like a cross between a side raise and a upright row. And then I'll do three sets of just regular dumbbell side lateral raises. I'll finish off a very nice pump. Decent shoulder day, pump was okay, it wasn't too crazy, but we definitely did get a pump, which is the goal, just to get a nice pump, get some nice uh, burning, some soreness, you know that feeling. Definitely felt the mind-muscle connection, so it's a productive workout. Definitely uh, give this one a try. It'll get you, uh, it will get you a good pump most days, unless it's just like me today, for some reason I couldn't get that great of a pump. But I'll take it, and tomorrow, tomorrow's a leg day, sadly. It'll probably be a, a different type of leg day too. Lighter weight, try and get some time under tension, all that same stuff. Trying to have an effective workout with less weight than usual. Cause I am like technically trying to, trying to deload a little bit this week. So that'll be legs tomorrow. But after that we get a full on arm day, which is only arms, which it's fun, but it's not. Cause like the, the pumps are huge, but it's just arms and the arms like, they don't look good with a big pump. They just look big. So I think my arms look better unpumped, but they definitely look bigger pumped. But it's still a fun workout to see how, how crazy of a pump you can get. So gotta get through legs so that we can hit arm day.